Hi, my name is John Hardy. I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon in Bristol and London. And I'm going to talk about my use of the Dupuy Mitec Malagro Bioreplaceable Screw. I use this for ACL reconstruction and for revision ACL reconstruction. And there are two good reasons for doing this. Here you can see I've got a uh, Nitinol guide wire and there goes the Malagro screw. Uh, this is an interference screw which holds the four strand hamstring ACL reconstruction in place. This is all done through three tiny keyhole incisions. So there's the alternative which is the old fashioned type of metal screw. Now two problems with the metal screw. The first is that when you MRI scan a patient who's been playing sport after an ACL reconstruction, they've had an injury, it's sometimes very difficult to see the cr structures around the screws because of the interference on the MRI scan. You can see that uh, those interference pictures there on the MRI scan with the screws highlighted with the red arrows. Now, <coughs> ACL reconstruction is extremely important, especially for high-performance athletes. Here's the Malagro screw again going in uh, to the medial wall of the lateral femoral condyle there on a patient and providing a great bit of interference. Not only that, over a 24-month period, uh, the manufacturers have been able to demonstrate complete reabsorption. So first uh, point is that it's not metal. You don't get any interference when you do an MRI scan. So here's an MRI scan on a patient that I've just done a Malagro screw, four-strand hamstring, ACL reconstruction. First thing you notice is this MRI scan looks pretty good. You can see where the screw's been absorbed just before that red arrow. And there's the ACL. You can see it in all its glory. That's really good for athletes when you want to know what's happened to them after a subsequent episode. Now the second reason to do uh, a Malagro screw is that it's really good fixation. Here's a patient, a footballer, who 18 months after his ACL reconstruction using the Malagro screw, he's had another tackle and that's caused a mid substance rupture. Now previously we've seen these things rupture around their insertion into the bone, into the uh, lateral uh, femoral condyle. And <clears throat> this demonstrates that Malagro screw has integrated well and bone has grown so well into the uh, new ligament that this thing, when ruptured, ruptured mid-ligament substance. The other thing is that when you're going to do a revision, as in this case, it's dead easy to, to uh, refashion the tunnels. Look, this is, here's, this is the um, Arthrocare uh, Ambient Super Multivac 50 wand, just clearing that medial wall of the lateral femoral condyle for further placement of the femoral tunnel for another uh, four-strand hamstring ACL graft. And the great thing about it, there's no large metal screw to take out and large void, therefore, to see down the, down the uh, femoral canal. Um, that means <coughs> you can place your tunnels in the isometric point where they really need to be. Here we go. Here's the uh, instrument I use, which is a little awl, to show me exactly where the tunnel should go. There's the uh, remnants of the screw, which is nearly fully resorbed. If you look on an MRI scan, you'll see it really is uh, back to normal bone. <clears throat> so it's dead easy to drill a new hole. You don't have to graft it and uh, start the ACL reconstruction all over again. So revision ACL reconstruction with the Malagro screw uh, is made a hell of a lot easier than if you have to cope with a hole from a metal screw.